You done fucked it up. You have got to be kidding me. This was a pathetic effort from you, the creators. Fuck you to the moon and back. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, recently, in the recent season of The Seven Deadly Sins, which is an anime, there has been, and they finally show, they finally, we finally got to see this epic fight between these two most powerful characters in the whole show. Escanor and Meliodas, we were all hyped to see these two behemoths finally go at it. And it just, it you don't fucked it up. God. <clears throat> if you don't know, if you haven't even seen the pathetic images, I thought they were, I thought they were photoshopped. Like, no, they can't look that bad. I watched the entire episode. It was disgusting. <laughs> it looked stupid. It looked terrible. If you don't know what I'm talking about, in this fight, this anticipated fight, by far the best fight in the whole manga series. By the way, I'm rereading the manga series, and it is so much better than the anime. It looks, it's so much just better in every way, shape possible. Um, basically, there's this group of holy knights, these, um, it's a cliche story, they were... They were good, and then they got framed for the murder of someone, and they're basically the most powerful Holy Knights in the whole the whole order of Holy Knights. And then, this was just simple, and then they started mixing demons and goddesses and shit like that. It became pretty interesting in Season 1. And then on Net I watched it on Netflix, so Season 2 was basically the miniseries. Miniseries wasn't too much to gloat about, but Season 3... My god, season three was fucking brilliant. We went deeper into the the demon, the demon race, the history of Meliodas to see who he really was. And at the end of season three, we were all like, we can't wait for season four. They're going to go deeper into the, the goddess race. For people that haven't seen it yet, it's worth a watch. This all started in episode one. The animation was pathetic. The, they censored the blood and made it white. So it just looked like they were bleeding ectoplasmic shit everywhere. So they fucked it up in the first season. I mean, not the first season, the first episode. But the second episode was so much better. There was actual legitimate character development. There was, finally, we got to see... King and Deanne finally freaking, you know, make up. It's freaking... After they completely teased it throughout the entire show. And uh, we actually finally got to see the day. The day that Meliodas betrayed the Ten Commandments. The epic fight between the Archangels and the Ten Commandments. And it just, it, on paper, it sounds fucking amazing. And just, the show was great from there on in. But then, episode 12. Oh, episode 12 was revolting as they just threw just shitty character designs all over the fucking screen and it just looked like a horrendous demon creature just crawled out of the gates of hell. I just wanted them to throw that fucking demon spawn back from the fucking deepest boardroom of in hell that they spawned it from. The image, the worst image in the fucking fight will be on the thumbnail. But seriously, watch the fight. Even though if you're like, oh, no, don't let it spoil it, I don't want to spoil it. Look up just the fight. You don't have to watch the episode because um, I only watched that part. And then I looked up fan animations. The fan animations look 20,000 times better than a fucking production-made high-budget animation company which means you don't fucked it up it's pathetic and the same thing that happened in dragon ball super if you look at the, if you haven't seen the image goku's face looked terrible in that so just look it up like just 
anime, anime, terrible animation in anime, and you're bound to see that. And this Meliodas stuff, just the movement, just the freaking movement when they're fighting, when they went at each other, I'm like, oh, that looks nothing like the manga. It looks like some, some incoherent neutered creature just, just got clumped together with a fucking, ugh, it just looked horrible. And in the mangas, it looks brilliant, like absolutely breathtakingly brilliant. The fight, fast paced, even though it's literally a page by page thing, you're like, oh, but it's, it's, an, it's a comic book, so it's not going to be that cool. Bullshit. It is so much more cooler, it looks so much more literal, and it doesn't look like an ugly shitling just came out of a fucking demon spawn's brain. It just... And if you look at other animes this year, like Demon Slayer, the animation that is brilliant. It's absolutely breathtaking. And you see ones that came out last year, like, um, like... Fucking Dragon Ball Super Broly. Dragon Ball Super Broly, not only is that movie generally fucking brilliant, but the animation looks so much more better than it did on Super. Even though I'm a big fan of Super, I'm a bigger fan than other people than some other people that didn't like it. I really did like Super. But the animation in Super Broly was so amazing. Even show even the movie that I don't normally watch, like um Your Name or um, Weathering With You, those show, those movies I'd only watch for the absolutely breathtakingly amazing animation, but, and this show's been airing from 2014 to 2018, to 2019, it's been airing for more than half a decade, and you'd think they'd evolve, like, evolve, the animation as the years went along. 2014, the, the animation in the first three seasons, great. It was, no, it wasn't great. It was more unbearable. But seriously, just the animation and the recent ones, like, literally, like, you see, you see in, like, De Meliodas' demon mode, when he, like, the demon mark, it's, it's not black, but it's kind of like a dark purple, and it, it looks cool. Like, I was like, you know what, that actually looks cool than black. And then, when it was black, it looked, yeah, it looks alright. I actually really like the look of that. But then, you see the, and then you see the look of his assault mode. Like, this was the most anticipated version of the of Demon Aliotis we were all looking forward to. They teased it in Season 3, and we finally get to see it. And it just looks, ugh, it looks so dodgy, it looks pathetic, it looks horrific, it looks dumb, and I'm just, it, it is the most pathetic effort in any anime I've ever seen, at least Goku's shitty face in that one episode of Dragon Ball Super, which I'm pretty sure they might have fixed, if they haven't, then shame on you. Um, at least that wasn't so noticeable. It wasn't noticeable unless you go frame by frame. In this, you don't even have to go frame by frame. The way they move, the way they just do things, it's, ugh, it's just fucking horrible. And fan animation. There is a fan animation that I, um, that I might be able to look up here. And um, I'll give him a shout out. Because this fan animation is oh, it's, it's amazing. It's absolutely breathtaking to see that this guy, this YouTuber, this YouTuber, so, um, this guy just made it look so cool, and I watched it back and forth, and I'm like, this is really good, um, so we go right here, I'm actually looking it up. Es Escanor vs. Meliodas. Where is the the fan made animation? Meliodas vs. Escanor fan animation. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Animations. Got twenty two point seven million views four months ago, and it just looks so much better. And the way they the way they made a fight the fight between Escanor and um and fuck what's his 
Eskinor versus Esterosa. The way they made that fight. That fight was awesome. It was so cool to see these two high-powered beings just literally knocking each other around. And this is just so much more pathetic. Just, it looks so bad. It makes me so worried to see it. Hopefully they fix it before it comes out on Netflix. Because if they don't, it will be one of the lowest viewed or lowest rated seasons in any anime this year. It would be sad to see. Because this, this anime, it has potential. The first season, personally, it's one of my faves. It's in my top 20. I think there are about, like, if it's in my top 20, there are, like, other 20 more. There are, like, another 19 more that I actually like more. It's about, like, in my top 20. That means there are, like, depending where I place it, there are, like, I probably put it in my 15, 15 in my other, 15 in my other, in my list. I'd probably say if I had a top 20 faves, I'd probably have about in my 15 or 16, which means if it was my 15, there'd be like another 10 or another 10 that I like more. Maybe I'm not doing the math right, but, um, there was like other ones I actually seen more better, like Dragon Ball Z, like, um, Tokyo Ghoul's way better. And uh, this has me worried for the fight again, Eskinor versus the Demon King, because this fight was also really great in the mangas. This has me very worried, man. This has me very, very worried. The show has potential to being one of the best. But it just falls short. And then this only has half of the fight. So I'm not going to judge the whole fight on this. This only shows half of the fight. So maybe they could save it in episode 13 or episode 14. What episode was it? Um, episode... Uh... I think it was episode, yeah, th maybe in episode 14 they could save it. Maybe. I don't know, man. <sighs> so, yeah, thank you all. This, that's the end of my rant or something. Um, But, yeah, thank you all so much for watching. And also to let you all know. So, to let you all know, I'm... <laughs> Gaming videos will not be a thing in this channel for uh, a while now because not only is my PlayStation that decides to shit itself, and um, I'll go deeper in the situation because it's actually beginning to get a bit serious. And I know it's like it's, it's a broken play, it's like it's a broken, it's a broken PlayStation. It's not that bad. Um, it's got to do a lot with consumer guarantee. Um, but I won't talk about it here. Um. But yeah, don't expect any game videos at all. So yeah, thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to like the video and also, what are you doing, man? Come on, subscribe already, man, because we're out here doing our own thing. We're out here chilling. I'm out here doing the daily grind. And uh, since Christmas has ended, I'm going to be uploading a lot more. So uh, yeah, I'll see you all next video. Bye, guys.